Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Herbal Remedies for Menstrual Cramps, Painful Menstruation or Dysmenorrhea Menstruation is the process of shedding of the uterus lining in the female body every month. Menstrual bleeding takes place for about 3 to 5 days normally. For many women, this is light, normal, and short whereas some may experience painful menstruation accompanied by menstrual cramps. A little discomfort and pain are normal, but excessively painful menstruation may be difficult and is termed as dysmenorrhea. Primary dysmenorrhea is when the menstrual cramps start a couple of days before the periods and stay for around three to four days. This is the most common in women. Secondary dysmenorrhea occurs when the cramps and pain are due to a medical issue, like a pelvic inflammatory disease. When the uterus contracts and relaxes for the blood flow, it causes tightening which causes the menstrual cramps. A substance called prostaglandins is released from the lining of the uterus, which may increase the effect of the contractions. If the levels of prostaglandins are high, it may even result in lightheadedness and nausea. While it is normal to have mild menstrual cramps due to the uterine contractions, excessive pain and discomfort may need some attention. Symptoms Women suffer varying degrees of pain in the abdominal and pelvic area during the periods that can start a few days before the periods. Painful menstruation usually lasts for one or two days during the periods. Other symptoms like nausea, vomiting, loose motion, and dizziness may accompany painful menstruation. Causes Menstrual cramps result due to the release of the hormone prostaglandins, which helps in the contraction of the uterus to shed the endometrial lining. Menstrual cramps are severe at a young age when the uterus starts functioning normally and recedes with aging. Stress, depression, and anxiety are other secondary factors that lead to painful menstruation. Secondary dysmenorrhea can arise due to cysts and fibroids in the uterus and ovaries and other inflammatory pelvic diseases. Natural Remedies for Painful Menstruation Menstrual cramps are not an abnormal condition, but can be reduced to a great extent through the following natural remedies. 1. Applying heating pads on the lower abdomen help in reducing the pain significantly. One can also apply a hot compress with a padded cloth. 2. Herbal tea prepared from the herb chamomile is also very helpful in reducing menstrual cramps. To a cup of boiling water, add 2 teaspoonfuls of dried chamomile powder and keep it for 5 minutes. Strain the mixture and drink it adding little honey or sugar. One can also make this tea a few days before the start of the menstruation cycle. 3. Ginger tea prepared from ginger root is also very effective in reducing menstrual cramps. Add a few pieces of ginger root in a cup of water and simmer it for 10 minutes. Strain the liquid and drink it adding little honey. 4. Make sure that your diet is enriched with calcium, magnesium, and vitamin B. Calcium is highly beneficial in toning the muscles and preventing cramps. Drink a few cups of milk during the periods to get relief from the cramps. 5. Magnesium helps in calcium absorption. Nuts, tofu, salmon, and green vegetables are rich in magnesium. Include these food items in your daily diet to reduce the pains. Herbal remedies for painful menstruation and menstrual cramps are effective in reducing the discomfort. If the discomfort level is high enough to interfere with your daily functioning, it needs to be checked and cured. The symptoms of this condition are nausea, constipation, diarrhea, vomiting, bloating, lightheadedness, and headaches. Medications like anti-prostaglandins are available to aid in reducing cramps and pain. Herbal remedies for painful menstruation are also effective and are a natural way to help reduce menstrual cramps. Some of the herbal remedies are as below. 1. Cramp Bark. This is a uterine relaxant antispasmodic. It aids in lowering the uterine pain and discomfort. 2. Kava Kava. Kava aids in reducing the pain. 3. Ginger Root. Ginger has pain-relieving properties and is used to treat inflammation. Use ginger root to make tea by boiling it in hot water for a while. Drink this daily to experience relief from cramp pain. 4. Chamomile. 
Chamomile tea also helps in reducing the discomfort. 5. Chased Berry Chased berry has been used as a woman's herb for a long time. It helps to ease the discomfort and menstrual cramps. 6. Angelica This herb is beneficial in the treatment of painful cramps. 7. Black Cohosh This herb also helps in reducing the spasms and contractions. 8. Bilberry This is one of the effective herbal remedies for painful menstruation. This herb has chemicals that help in muscle relaxation. 9. Massage Massaging the abdominal area with essential oils of herbs like lavender, sage, ginger, and chamomile help to relax the muscles of the uterine which gives relief from the cramps. Other than following these herbal remedies for painful menstruation and menstrual cramps, one has to eat a healthy diet. Include fruits, vegetables, salads, and food rich in calcium and magnesium. Avoid tea, coffee, alcohol, chocolates, and junk food. Eat food that is easily digestible and drink plenty of water. Regular exercises and yoga can help reduce the painful condition during menstruation. Ninety percent of women report having painful menstrual cramps at, at least some of the time. Around the Mediterranean, fennel seeds have been traditionally used to relieve me painful menstruation. We call them seeds, but they're actually whole little fruits. Hard to create placebo seeds, though, so they use the fennel seed extract to put it to the test. Uh, the women started out with 6 out of 10 pain, but down to 4 out of 6 within an hour, all better than placebo. 52% of the women rated the fennel seed treatment as excellent, compared to only 8% of the women in the placebo group, who were just unknowingly given capsules containing flour. But women don't take flour for cramps, they take drugs like ibuprofen. Uh, Methanamic acid is in the same class of anti-inflammatory NSAID drugs, and may actually work better than ibuprofen, but it's not over-the-counter. How did it do against an extract of fennel seeds? Most started out in severe pain, but ended up pain-free after treatment. And the fennel worked just as well as the drug class considered the treatment of choice without the side effects of the drug, which include diarrhea, rashes, autoimmune anemia, and kidney toxicity. And the drug doesn't help with the other symptoms of bad periods. Uh, you know, women can feel nauseated too, not just in pain, out of sorts, weak, achy, and diarrheic. But fennel seeds seemed to help, uh, though the control group was not given a placebo, so you don't know how much of it is the placebo effect. One downside is that on fennel, women bleed about 10% more. See, you know, menstrual cramps are caused by the uterus contracting so hard that its own blood supply is compromised, and the way we think fennel works is through muscle relaxation, uh, because it also helps with infant colic, um, which is thought due to intestinal spasms. Uh, the advantage of fennel here, too, is the lack of side effects. And unlike the drug that's used, which they note unfortunately can work a little too well to get your baby to stop crying by developing side effects like death. Ginger, on the other hand, is effective for cramps and reduces bleeding when an eighth of a teaspoon of ginger powder is taken three times a day during one's period. An eighth of a teaspoon. This is important since up to 18 million young women in the United States experience iron deficiency anemia due to heavy menstrual bleeding. The amount of blood loss was estimated using a scoring system uh, that gives points for level of saturation, clot size, and uh, on ginger they went from uh, like a half a cup per period down to a quarter cup. Uh, ginger appears to be a highly effective treatment in the reduction of menstrual blood loss. It's cheap, about eight, six cents a month, uh, easy to use, and may have fewer side effects than other chemical medications and invasive approaches even sometimes fewer than placebo. They used lactose, milk sugar, for the sugar pills, which may have caused the flatulence. Ginger may also work better for premenstrual syndrome. An eighth of a teaspoon twice a day of ginger powder for a week before one's period yields a significant drop in PMS mood, physical, and behavioral symptoms, whereas fennel may help with PMS anxiety and depression, but not with the emotional and physical symptoms. 
There are other dietary interventions that can help, like a reduction in salt and animal fat consumption, something I've uh, addressed before. Whatever works, since sometimes, evidently, PMS symptoms can lead to murder. And indeed, there are cases like Christine English, who at that time of the month ran down her husband. Accepting PMS as a defense, she was released with one year probation. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel.